In a recent interview, the host of the program posed a question that has intrigued Sopranos fans for years. Did Tony die in the last episode? David Chase, the creator of The Sopranos, finally shed some light on this tantalizing mystery. His response left no room for doubt. Tony does indeed meet his end at Holston's. Chase revealed that the idea of Tony's death scene had been brewing in his mind for years. He had envisioned this pivotal moment long before the series reached its conclusion. However, he also disclosed that he had initially considered an alternative ending, a scene where Tony would meet his demise while returning from New Jersey to New York for a fateful meeting. As the show had consistently portrayed Tony's journeys from New York to New Jersey at the beginning of each episode, Chase toyed with the idea of concluding the series with Tony's return trip, signaling his imminent demise. This concept presented an intriguing narrative symmetry, but ultimately, Chase had a change of heart regarding the location. The decision to have Tony's fate sealed at Holston's, a seemingly ordinary diner, added a layer of unpredictability and realism to the scene. By opting for a more unexpected setting, Chase heightened the tension and left viewers on the edge of their seats as they watched the screen fade to black. David Chase's willingness to share these insights offers a fascinating glimpse into his creative process and the evolution of The Sopranos' ending. It serves as a reminder of the meticulous planning and artistic choices that went into crafting one of the most memorable moments in television history. As fans continue to debate and analyze the enigmatic conclusion, we can now appreciate the thought and contemplation that went into determining Tony Soprano's ultimate fate. It is a testament to the enduring impact and storytelling prowess of The Sopranos, a series that continues to captivate audiences long after its final episode aired. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to Vano VHS and hit the like button.